With the on and IFT accounts in place, let's set up a connection between an internet connected doorbell and your open hearing aids. When someone rings the door, you are notified with a message in the hearing aids. This way, you'll never miss the doorbell again. Apart from the IFT account, you need a separate account for each of your internet connected devices and services. Just think of it like your social media accounts. You may have Facebook and Instagram connected, but you have to open separate accounts for each of them first. Each platform has its own separate account and login details so that only you can access the service. So first, you just need to set up an account for your doorbell. I'll be using an internet connected doorbell from a company called Ring. Now you can purchase a doorbell like this online or at retailers who sell internet connected devices. As long as the doorbell works with IFT, it will also work with the open hearing aids. So to begin with, I'll configure the doorbell and get it connected to the internet. Then I'll set up an applet that instructs the doorbell to send my hearing aids a notification whenever somebody rings the doorbell. First, let's set up the doorbell. As is the case with almost every IFT compatible device, the doorbell has its own app from the creator. So let's start by installing the Ring app on your smartphone. With the Ring app installed, we can begin configuring the doorbell. Launch the app and follow the instructions on the screen to get it set up for your home. Once the Ring doorbell is configured, we're ready to link everything together so that when someone rings the doorbell, a spoken notification is heard in the hearing aids. We just need to go back to IFT and complete the configuration. The first step is to tap My Applets at the bottom right part of the screen. This takes us to an overview of all the applets we currently have configured. Tap on the plus sign to enter the applet. Applet Maker to begin creating your applet. Now we have to specify what we want the hearing aids to react upon. Tap the plus sign and search for Ring. I would like to hear when the doorbell is ringing, so I select New Ring Detected. If this is the first time you've created an applet with the doorbell, the IFT system will need to know how to connect to your particular doorbell. To enable this connection, you simply have to tap Connect and enter the account information you used when creating the Ring account. This way, you'll allow IFT to connect to your doorbell and get the ringing notification. Now, you only have to do this once to establish a connection. Now, you can select the doorbell you just configured from the list of available connections. Next, I'll specify what should happen when the doorbell is ringing. Tap the plus sign to do that. Search for Oticon and specify the action you want. In this example, I'll select Play Text to Speech. If this is the first time you create an applet with the Oticon Open device, the IFT system needs to know how to connect to your Oticon account. To do this, Simply tap Continue and enter the account information you used when creating the Oticon account. This way, IFT is allowed to contact the Oticon app and send spoken notifications to your hearing aids. You only have to do this once to establish a connection. Next, you can either leave the default text available for this alert or you can enter a customized message. Tap Next to continue. Your applet is now done, so you can tap Finish. So let's test the applet by pressing the doorbell. There is someone ringing at the front door. Easy. Now, every time someone's at the door, I'll get notified in my hearing aids. I can always change the message or create more applets with my doorbell. We're so excited about the possibilities we have with internet connected hearing aids here at Oticon. And we hope you are as well. Now remember, this was just one example of the many possibilities you get with Oticon Open and IFT. You can develop more yourself or find pre-made applets in the IFT app. Thank you so much for watching.